The history feature allows you to analyze the alerts of your alert windows over the past 60 odd days. By default, alerts will be streaming in real time, however, you can uncheck the real time mode if you wish to look further back. You can select to view the alerts of the last trading day or the previous trading day. Alternatively, you can select all to see all the alerts of the past 60 odd trading days. The window will load a maximum of 1000 alerts at once. To see older alerts, right click into the window, choose history, and select more. You can keep selecting more until the 60 day trading limit is reached. You can also request historical alerts for a specific time frame. Start describes the most recent alert you want to see. By default, these appear at the top of the alert window. You can choose now as the start date, or you can choose a specific date and time. Below, you can choose the oldest alert you would like to see. You can make a selection from the drop down, which starts this morning and in 64 days ago. Alternatively, you can choose a specific date and time. Press the OK button to see the window fill with historical alerts. The caption of the alert window will update and show that historical data is currently displayed and that more historical data is available. You can request additional portions of historical data via right click, history, and more. If you click on an alert to display it in a link chart, you will see a blue arrow pointing at the bar where the alert occurred. You can sort the output by specific columns. If you would like to, for example, see the highest priced stocks at the top, double click on the price column. This will bring up a menu with further group and sort options. If a symbol shows up multiple times in your scan, like DOCU here, you can leave it as such by selecting All Alerts. You can, however, also choose to limit the output to the very first alert for the symbol by choosing keep oldest or the very last alert by choosing keep newest. Additionally, you can select which filter to sort by and the sort direction, either ascending or descending. To save all the displayed data of the alert window as a CSV file on your PC, right click and select save contents. You can also transfer selected column entries into a spreadsheet. To do so, highlight the rows either by clicking and holding down your left mouse key while moving over the rows or by pressing the Ctrl and A key on your keyboard. To copy your selection, press the Ctrl and C key on your PC's keyboard. Finally, press the Ctrl and V. Key to paste the selected rows into your spreadsheet. Right now, I can select single columns with my mouse to highlight entire rows with one mouse click. Go to the toolbar, select Options, General, and then highlight grid row upon selection. To be able to highlight single columns, leave this option unchecked.